Alright, yo guys, what's going on? It's Sword Rage, and today the day is finally here. The new World War II update. Hey, everyone's over here at the quartermaster. Yep, what's good? Alright, now where would I go to find the type 30A? Where is it at? Well, here, actually, first I got a shit ton of supply drops to open, so I'm gonna open all this first and see if I can get some parts for it. Oh, there we go. And Ruby Sniper. Okay. Sniper rifle camo legendary. I mean, alright, I guess I'll check that out. Whoa, yo, that iron curtain PPSH actually looks fucking sick. Okay, another heroic. Rolling Thunder MG42. I don't use that. Okay. Now, the only thing that I'm still curious about, though, is... Okay, looks like we gotta go down here to the gunsmith, perhaps. Prestige weapons, craft paint jobs... Now, where the hell do I go? Wait. No. No, no, no. You are fucking kidding me. Do not tell me that Arasaka is not a part of this. I'm so confused. It's not... Uh, th like, this is where we would be, right? And now we tune in to a very disgruntled Sor Rixque as he angrily types away on Twitter, trying to find the answer to how to find the Arasaka. Oh, looking collections under Operation Overlord. It's called Type 38. Okay, R3. I got you. I really just thought it would have made more sense that it would have been under the new Operation thing, which is Operation Blitzkrieg, or called the Blitzkrieg. Hang on, hang on. All right. Quartermaster. Collections, Operation Overlord, Type 38. Where? Oh, yeah. I definitely got more than enough. There we fucking go, boys. Yes! See, I was gonna say, yo, I oh, I would have been so pissed if it wasn't added to PC. All right, fuck it. I'm just gonna slap it right here on the first class. The Type 38. Here we go. And now my game is bugged. Oh, Jesus. What have I done? What the hell? Oh yeah, this thing's getting patched. It is so nice though, but yeah, the fire rate on this thing, yeah, so many people are gonna bitch and complain about it, so. I mean, if you got enough armory credits, I had nearly 23,000, then you should have no problem getting this. And I just realized this too, like the basic, or just like the regular Arasaka, is a specific variant, but the one you get is the Hydra. I mean, I'm not gonna complain about it, I mean, it looks kinda cool. Oh, yo, Ronin looks fucking nasty, oh man. I don't know, I find that kinda weird though, that they would give you a variant as compared to the uh, base rifle itself, but I mean, hey. That's kind of cool. All right, fucking enough of all this. Yep, let's go ahead and jump in. We're gonna check out some Ground War War. And this is a one potential game. Fantastic. Maybe not Ground War War right now. Let's just try a Ground War Mosh Pit. And this morning, we're gonna be preaching about is the reality of hell. Hell is a real place. I, was I believe it, but I, I don't need to be. <laughs> I don't need the fridging right now. Oh, and I got into Kerpai's game too. Huh, would you look at that? I still can't stress this enough though. Like, oh my god, that intro. I was going to shit myself if the Arasaka wasn't on PC. Which I had originally talked about this last week. So this whole, like, major World War II remaster update came out for Xbox and PS4. It came out last week with the original release of the DLC. And it didn't come to PC. So PC, you know, usually late to the party on everything. Finally got this update. Ooh, that's so fast. It's so nice. And for a ground war lobby, it's just basic 6v6. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, PC is never really all that populated when it comes to ground war. Uh, teammate, hello. I can't get over how fast this thing is, though. Yeah, like, there's no way it's staying like this. It really does remind me of the pre-patch card. Like, again, there's no way this thing is just not going to not be patched. Now this is looking like an actual ground war lobby. Yeah, 16 out of 18. 17 out of 18 now. Yeah, this is probably going to be, like, the only time that PC ground war is actually populated. Well, that didn't work. Something else that I also just realized, along with this new update, everyone now has unlimited sprint, which to an extent is pretty nice. And I also really love all the rebalancings that they've done with all of the divisions. In my personal opinion though, I really feel like Armored is going to be the absolute best one because it's like having consistent flak jacket and tactical mask. Plus on top of that, thankfully, once again, we can now hold our breath with something other than mountain. And I feel like I talked about this in my World War II video that went up last week originally when I was really pissed off that the update was gonna be delayed on PC. But I really feel like this kind of update should have come out like probably a month or two into the game's life cycle, not five, six months down the line. And also, like how I mentioned in that video, is it going to revive the player count? No, absolutely not. But in my personal opinion, though, all of these changes do certainly make the game a lot better. Really? I feel like the Arasaka, though, really just have, like, a good one-shot ratio. The hell? What? <laughs> Snake. Dragon? Yo, that's so cool! I don't know why I'm so easily entertained by that. I don't know, I just think that's so dope. Oh, 
fuck they were all over there. I just ran directly into Kurt by scope. He was looking straight ahead, and I ran right into him. God damn it. You know what? Honestly, after playing with Arasaka for a little bit, I really don't think this thing's gonna get patched. Okay, now, don't get me wrong. It is ridiculously fast, but I feel like it's not as ridiculously strong as, for example, like I made the comparison earlier to the pre-patched car. It's not that ridiculous. As a matter of fact, I would go as far as to say I actually think it's a little bit weaker than the car, because you really do have to get a solid one shot to the chest. I think as far as, like, damage on the car goes, you can shoot him in the stomach and get a one shot and I know it's definitely knees and above with the Springfield. I'm really not trying to sound extremely biased or anything like that just because I'm a sniper, but it really does feel like uh, the speed and damage match each other out. <sighs> Bunny rabbits, Kerpai, stop it. Yeah, if there's anything they need to change as far as, like, ground war goes, they need to increase the team deathmatch limit to 100. Because that game right there was over in three and a half minutes. Alright, now, I tried this a little bit ago, but I really want to try playing ground war for war. Do potential games? Okay. Alright, this is progress. Yes! Now, I know I've gotten a lot of shit in the past just for always playing war, and quite honestly, this is really all I play when I play this game. And something that I always thought was cool was to implement ground war, especially on Operation Neptune for D-Day. See, now, this kind of thing may sound absolutely ridiculous for Call of Duty, but imagine, like, a 50 v50 kind of thing for d-day i don't know i feel like that'd be really cool probably really cool yet at the same time extremely annoying which actually even so this part right here building the bridge is extremely annoying but and eh, no problem we got it can't get over how good this sniper feels though it's just it's so nasty and like i just said a little bit ago i take back what i said at the start of the video yeah no nah, i feel like they did a good job with balancing this weapon it's fast but it's not exactly the most powerful rifle which is a good balance oh no they're spawning fuck a bomb's been planted on our ammo supply! Well, it's back. Okay, yeah, you know what? As much as I hate to say it, I can honestly kind of see why they didn't implement ground war for a little while. I mean, I don't know, though. Maybe it's just the fact that uh, I'm not used to it yet, but it definitely seems a lot more hectic. Well, obviously, I mean, that goes without saying. 6v6 compared to 9v9. It still is really fun, though. Like, it changes the pace of the game a lot. But honestly, though, overall, as far as, like, this whole update goes, I really am enjoying this. This is a lot of fun. So, though, overall, I really am enjoying this update. And, uh, yeah, that's gonna go ahead and wrap up this World War II video. If you guys would like me to post more World War II in the future, just considering this update and everything, go ahead and let me know in that down in the comment section below. It's been Soul Rage. I will talk to you guys later. Take care, everybody.